In the previous video, we had a look at data fetching by using the state and effect hooks. In this video, let's see how to do the same with use rate user and use effect. I'm going to start off by creating a new file called datafetching2.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. Now there are four steps to implement. First step, make the necessary imports. We need use red user and use effect from react and also axios from axios. Second step, we declare the initial state and define the red user function. For the initial state, we use the same variables from the last video but this time we declare them as properties of a single object. So const initial state is going to be equal to loading, which is true, error, which is an empty string, and post, which is an empty object. Next is the reducer function. The reducer function accepts state and action as its arguments and returns the updated state. If you go back to the code from the previous video, you can see that there are two clear state transition scenarios. One when the data was fetched successfully and one when there was an error fetching the data. These two scenarios form the switch cases for our reducer function. So switch, the expression is going to be action.type and the first case is fetch underscore success. If the data fetching is successful, we are going to set loading to false. The post will be action.payload and finally, error will be set to an empty string. Similarly, the second case is fetch error. In this case, we return loading false. Post is an empty object and the error message is something went wrong. Let's also add in a default case even though we don't require it for our example default returns the current state. All right, that is our reducer function. Now for our third step, invoking use reducer and use effect to fetch the data and set the state. First, within the component, we call use reducer, passing in the reducer function and the initial state that we have just defined. Use red user returns a pair of values which is the current state and the dispatch method. Now we can make our HTTP call. I'm going to copy paste use effect from the previous video and make the necessary changes. So copy and paste it. Now the only change we need is to replace all occurrences of use state with use reducer. And that is pretty simple. When the data fetching is successful, we dispatch an action. The action though is an object with type set to fetch underscore success and the payload set to response dot data. This will correspond to action.type and action.payload in our reducer function. Similarly, in the catch block, we dispatch an action with type fetch underscore error. And we don't need a payload here as we have hard coded the error message in the reducer itself. And this needs to be an object. 
The final step is to specify the JSX. Again, I'm going to copy paste the JSX from the previous video. The only change we need to make is to append state to all the variable names. State.loading, state.post.title, and state.error. This is because they are all part of this state object now. And that is pretty much it. Let's save the file, include it in app.js, and take a look at the browser. You can see that we have an error message and that is because our URL is incorrect. I'm going to set this right, save this, head back to the browser and you can see the post title. I refresh and again you can see loading for a fraction of a second and then the title is displayed. So what have we done differently from the previous video? You have just replaced use state with use red user. In doing so, we have grouped the related state variables together over here. And at the same time, the state transitions are also grouped together. All right, that brings us to the end of the series of examples related to use red user. I hope you now have a better understanding of how the use red user hook works in React. If you do, let's head over to the next video where we can finally answer the question I asked in the first video about use reducer, which is if both use state and use reducer are meant for state management, when should we use one over the other? I'll see you guys in the next video.